What's up y'all, before we get into the video, just wanted to say I'm back in my apartment in Austin and I have four gaming trading monitors that I'm going to be giving away as I downsize to move into this truck in the next couple months and this video is the first giveaway. So if you wanna see how you can win one of these monitors for yourself, make sure to stick through the end of the video to enter for a chance to win. I'll see you in the video. All right, what's going on guys? Bryce Dewey here, I am back. I just went on like a week and a half trip down to Austin, got back last night, ready to start building in. Today is Monday, fresh start to the week. My mom's gonna be helping me a lot now. My cousin Matt actually just started a new job. I'm gonna have him around a little bit less now. A lot of this is gonna be a lot more of the technical stuff. We can be technical. Bryce brought mom in for the technical part. I want the, that to be known. Yes, yes. So we are on YouTube University today. First video that I have watched a little bit of is like this really comprehensive of electrical guide. Got a lot of my components in now, just about all of them, and have been really just trying to take the last couple weeks learning what each of those components do. We already know even the type of wiring to use. It's just a lot of making sure it's all connected right, all secured correctly, and then hopefully we can go start kind of putting it together a little piece by piece. That's what we got today so far. I'll check back in later. All right, everyone, uh, we're out here. It's pretty late, and we're gonna get started finally running the wire in here. Basically starting tonight, marking out the, marking out the, marking out exactly where it needs to be run to. Basically just doing some measuring tonight. That's where we're at today. And yeah, electrical is now starting. Hey Mitch, swag! He's gonna put that one in the video. I, I swag! Just do a punch. <laughs> this is why nothing has gotten done. Literally. Two hours later. So what we're doing here is my mom is writing these, these little index cards and then we're putting them just up on the ceiling. Because when you're running the wire, for those of you who are not electricians like myself, you need to have a general idea of where that wire is going to go. You don't need to run it directly to it, but just having it marked out ahead of time will make it a lot easier in the process or in the, ah, in the future. <laughs> and guys, another thing that's really easy about this right now is if you remember, my cousin and I added these ceiling here we added some extra support basically so I mean we had these these ceiling joists but we actually cut and made some more above it and that's basically exactly where the lights are gonna go so it means a lot less measuring right now and we can work a little bit more on the fly mosquitoes are not so I think we're gonna do eight main lights and then two bedroom lights some LED strips and a bathroom light too there should be a total of like 11 or 12 main lights this place is gonna be lit it's <laughs> Stop. So not every day is working out on the truck. Yeah, Matt over here helping me out with kind of the electrical stuff. I mean, I have zero idea about like any construction related things, but definitely electrical has been a new beast to tackle. Matt got a good little schematic drawn out so far. So working on figuring out how to power this thing and make sure that it can be off grid a decent amount of time here without needing to be plugged in. I've got 800 watts of solar. This is kind of that supply list just running through, trying to get that all ordered up now. But I know you only get to see so much on the camera here so when I'm not out there working I'm kind of just in here trying to do some research about what else I'm gonna need to get yeah that's what today is just about now finished up kind of the electrical plan and plumbing idea here electrical is right down there huge shout out to Matt helping me out there but one not issue but if you've seen the side door that's currently on the RV it needs to be replaced with like a normal RV door but this one is really wide this big door out there is like four feet wide so trying to figure out how to get that all framed in but I've got a way clearer idea now again with this little schematic has helped a lot just knowing exactly what needs to be in place things are moving way forward here this is a nice nice day and I think after the rest of kind of once I have everything considered here. Next step, we'll just be working on doing some more framing. So good stuff. That's today's update. All right. Welcome back. Today's Sunday. Uh, we're still working on the wiring. This is like my first day basically working alone. We also got these little paintings here. Paintings. <laughs> got the drawings hanging up here. Most of the day is just gonna be me working on getting as much of this wiring knocked out as I can. But yeah, we'll see how it goes today and probably coming up next, you're about to see a little wiring montage come on up. So we'll see. <laughs> First outlet of this circuit completed. Two. 
finish him. Blood, sweat, and tears, I guess. Oh, golly. Check-in time. I f***ed up. All the outlets. I did the wrong wire gauge. <laughs> so I had to remove all of them. I had to get more wire. I accidentally put 14 gauge instead of 12 gauge in there, which needs to go there. So we're going to have a lot of leftover wire, which kind of works out. I got to put the exhaust fans in. So going to be able to utilize that a little bit, but all of them, all of them Anubis, all those ones, all those ones. Mom, I messed up. I just realized I end every video that I do with like a So I'm just gonna try ending it this time. What's up, vlog squad? A little sick. Like I got a sinus infection, but we're still out here. And my girlfriend has officially made her way into the vlog squad. Hi, squad. What are our goals today, Mitch? We're gonna finish the wiring for the lighting. 12 gauge wire just came in, so we're gonna be able to hit all the outlets. Then we also got 10 gauge to run to the mini split. Yeah, we're doing a mini split AC. I feel like I might have mentioned that before. And yeah, that's the goal for today. Okay, so this right here is our 10 gauge wire, 10-3. So on the inside of this, for anyone who wants is curious or whatever, it says a hot neutral and ground wire in it that we're gonna run to the mini split AC. Once we finish that, Yvette's wiring the bathroom right now for the light to switch in the outlet there. I've got to do this mini split. After that, the last thing we really have to do is get some remaining 12 gauge ground wire and then all the wiring will be done. For anyone that doesn't know what any of that means, neither do I. I just looked up all the terms on the internet. We'll see if any of this works uh, when we go to turn it on. All we're going to do is run this wire right alongside all of these, all of these, all of these, all of these. And we're going down to here. This is where the refrigerator is going to be. There's a problem with what you want. We already ran the wire for the fridge with 12 gauge. That's 10 for the mini split. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Right. Oh wait, that's right. I kind of want Mitch to do that one. I'm sorry. I he wants guess, me to drill. Can the I? Can I? It's like a burly man right now. Oh my gosh, it's all my hair. Before the truck, what's your biggest construction project you've ever done? I built your bookshelf. <laughs> I mean, that's that's it. What's up everybody? It's actually been a little while since I last filmed the truck is actually in the shop being worked on right now It's over at the fabricators and we're gonna take a run over to the shop Get some footage of that being worked on since I can't do any of the welding myself it Wasn't something I wanted to really learn on the internet either it seemed like something it might be better to have done by a professional And yeah, we're gonna go take a stop over and see what's being done it should be getting really close now He says he's got the doors done or the door I should say and and also the windows got started and we're working on those today. Also, it's officially snowing outside. First day of snowfall of the season. Time to get on over to the welders and see what this looks like. Beautiful snow outside here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, 
we got a trailer hitch put in so that this bad boy that we're driving right now can get towed. Right now there's that big four foot wide door. We're putting like a normal RV door to it. It's kind of make it look more like an actual RV. It's gonna be fun stuff. All right, so you're probably wondering, what can you do to enter this giveaway for one of these monitors? First of all, down in the description below is going to be, well, the description of the monitor that is being given away in this video. Um, but all you need to do is actually like this video. By liking this video, you're entered into the giveaway. And as soon as this video reaches, I don't know, I feel like 500 likes is attainable. I feel like that should be attainable. A comment will also get you an extra entry. And if you share this YouTube video to your Instagram story, that counts as an extra entry as well. Just make sure to tag me. My name is right here on the screen on Instagram. Uh, and that will be an additional entry for the giveaway. Thank you guys once again for watching this video so far and I'll let you get right back into it. Good luck. Oh, that's awesome. That's gonna be perfect. Framing for the windows that I was talking about that I could not build with the wood. Um, so this is that metal framing that's gonna go around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill the gaps. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to even use regular insulation and then just even. But it'll kind of stay in space. Right. Yeah. It's not a fiberglass. Yeah. I'm thinking we had like a closet space right now. We've got so much more room coming out this way. I think right back in here will be perfect for like a coat closet or something like that. Back there, where the I haven't showed the trailer hitch yet, um, but there's basically going to be a little cubby area right behind the hitch for some extra tool storage too, which is going to work out really well. Yeah, that's great. You know what ain't going on? Yeah, lift it right up. Yeah, perfect. So that's... We'll have a little latch right here. That's sweet. And that goes pretty deep back too. 30 inches. Coming in. My plan is kind of just put like a drop down screen there for what I do when I open it and I'll just be able to get sent to the back end. I think I'll be chasing the sun for a little yeah. bit and try to stay out of these kind of conditions when possible. 